hi class uh it's december 2nd i hope everyone had a good thanksgiving and a nice little break from class i want just to give you my market update uh since we last spoke um this week we have a uh, light light week in terms of earnings you'll notice around holidays companies tend to report less um volumes tend to be light as well uh in terms of earnings um so that means moves tend to be magnified so something that would go up during light trading periods will tend to go up more and something that's down will tend to get beat up even more right um just in these environments i think gap reported earnings since we last met uh it was viewed as a, a little bit of a miss um and it crashed about you know 25 percent but it still almost doubled over the last six months even accounting for um, you know, that correction. Um, another name that uh, has really astoundingly taken off would be Jumia since we last met. Uh, they reported earnings viewed as uh, in line with expectations, but the market was initially disappointed uh, that uh, their marketing spend was light. Uh, you know, with these high growth firms, they want to see you spending money to acquire new customers. <clears throat> um, you know, in the U.S., Chinese uh, uh, tensions with China still remain high uh, in terms of a trade deal, even with the incoming uh, Biden administration. Um, tomorrow and tonight, we have some earnings being reported that I think look pretty interesting. One is a small cap called Sportsman's Warehouse. Um, another one uh, tomorrow morning, December 3rd, is Michael's, the craft store. If you think uh, Etsy will do well here, um, you know, Michaels and these craft stores um, could be, you know, a good gateway, a picks and shovels approach to, um, you know, entering that craft market. And then lastly, Cracker Barrel, uh, the restaurant group. Um, one thing that I think is intriguing about Cracker Barrel, besides the valuation, is their customer base. Um, the customer base at Cracker Barrel tends to lean Republican and, and tends to be less likely to wear a mask and tends to less uh, or more likely visit a restaurant. So um, that could be, you know, a thesis for uh, looking at something like Cracker Barrel. Uh, plus they have exposure to board games and crafts as well. So, you know, they're also reporting earnings tomorrow. Uh, cloud software companies like Okta and Zscaler reported earnings this week. Um, they were largely positive. They enable workers to work from home. As the stay-at-home trends continue to build out, um, you know, more and more companies are investing more money to make it possible so that you can work from home if if it's in your kind of the job function. Um, that's really all I have for today. I look forward to hearing uh, your comments, questions, concerns about the market. Uh, vaccines still appear to be sooner rather than later. Uh, looking forward to talking with you guys. Have a great day.